The time you, you hit that you dog. You bummed a dog. Yeah, that time I shagged <laughs> that dog to death. No. <laughs> oh, um, shit. No. Was it, was it, what was his spine like? <laughs> well, it was broken afterwards. Oh, but it was fixed before. Did you ever just get a random bogey on your finger? Only, Only after I've been picking my nose. Yeah. I, no, I don't it's... think it just randomly it's appears. Just... <laughs> I've just been scrubbing my face in the shower. Oh. oh. <laughs> Maybe you had like a, a like a bogey in your moustache or something. So is this how we're going to stop the, start the podcast then? Hey guys, welcome back to the Free Skins podcast. Best podcast on the internet. Uh, you can move that way a tiny bit if you want some more room. <clears throat> um, there me. we go. Him, what you. am I sat on? Oh, nothing. Hello, God, that was an awful intro. Are we that doing that again? Yeah, no, because you fucking, you, you were like, Arr, Arr, Arr. I was sat on something, and Let's Greg was moving. You, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it again. We'll do it. Come again. on, guys. Do it again. I've got. I haven't got the squidgy hands. Well, who cares? Anymore. It was a horrible noise. That was the po- that, That's one of the yeah. reasons it was a bad intro. And people that aren't watching and listening are going to hear that squidgy I'm noise and keep, think I'm still going to keep all of this in anyway. Pounding your minge before we started. Hello guys, welcome back to the Free Seasons Podcast, best of podcast on the internet, Matt and Lewis and Greg. Wow. Better than Joe Rogan. You know, after being away, you think we'd put in a little bit no, more. No, 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 no. Okay. Go on. You, you beat that intro then. Go I'll on. be there. Go on, no, beat what? it. What, you want me to beat... Hello, welcome to the Free Seasons Podcast, best of podcast on the internet, Matt and Lewis and Greg. Go on, do it, go on, do it. Yeah, go on. Go on, go on. Let's have a competition. Yeah? Intro competition. Go on. What's that got? I was going to do a quirky dead one. Air. Dead, dead air. No, you dead wait, air. you wait. Dead air. Dead air. Wait, you genuinely want to do one? Yeah, go on then. Welcome back, everyone, to the Three Skins Podcast. I am Lewis. That's Matt. That's Greg. Sorry we've been gone for so long. A week, precisely. Um, I was away in Wales, and these cunts didn't want to do it without me, no, because great. I'm essential yeah. to this podcast. We were going to do it. Uh, no. Wait, that, that wasn't a good intro. Yeah, mine was You bad. went on a oh. bit too much. Did I? Now, I'm going to do I my own intro. I, oh, Greg, do, yeah, Greg, do one. Greg, do one. Well cut. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> it truly is a long one, isn't it? <laughs> what? Hello, welcome to the Greg Skins podcast. Oh. You're here with your host, Greg. I've got two guests today. Greg and uh, Greg. Uh, Matt and Lewis. <laughs> These guys are great. So... Mm. That well, was I thought you were going to call me Fat Greg. You are Fat Greg. You are kind of like a fat version I'm of me. Or you're Greg. Old Greg. I'm Old Fat Greg. Old Fat Greg. I'm Old yeah. Fat. I'm... He's got a man, Jane. Well, it's like when we when we, when I shaved him good and dressed him up as me. He looked he looked like me, mm. but he like, did look like you, but like sort of saggy, <laughs> like a saggy. You know, you know those like you know those like um, terminal illnesses that make you gain weight really quickly. He looked like that. Like if that happened to you. Yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. <laughs> no, it just looks. Like, I look like I've your an- anorexic version of me. I oh, think I, I, I am a healthy weight. You are not a healthy weight. That's the difference between us. <laughs> Holy shit! Welcome back, everyone. If you've missed this, I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, sorry that we took a week off. Fat shaming. Go on. Fuck off. Um, no, sorry. We had to. Um, let's take a week off. We tried our best to sort out something for the middle of the week when we were away, but we could not. So I know all of you. It ruined all of your weeks, and I'm really sorry. But we're back, and it's resuming. Yeah, like as one normal. person asked me what happened. <laughs> <laughs> ruined everyone. Just week. that one person. Shut up. We are sorry. To, oh, sorry God. to that one person. I want to know. In uh, first off, hit that hundred likes. Second off, I want to know where you come from. Have you come from one of our Instagrams? Have you come from the sub box, the recommended? And where do that? you go? And then where do you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Yes. Where do you come from? Where do you go? You can move that way a little bit more. Today we have one topic, and then we have a kind of a versus thing, but it's... Sort of, it's not like a proper not, competition, it's no. just a sort of oh, a versus a laugh thing. We haven't really thought it out There's already a winner, properly yet. and it's, it's right. It's, well, I everyone, can't, I can't everyone seemed to like your accents, so impersonations, let's we'll see if they're like that. Is that because he made every accent from like Eastern Europe to the slums of England all the same, <laughs> exact same voice? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. It was all... <laughs> Now the French. Hello. <laughs> now the Italian. French, super... Hello. <laughs> Hello, traveller. Hello, traveller. That was a Khajiit, wasn't it? That wasn't fucking French. <laughs> Mate, they're all the same. You know? Khajiit has words. Anything Matt. east, south, west, or north of where I live speaks weird. Like that. <laughs> Hello. Uh, right. Yeah. 
Okay, so you've wow. So you to look forward to. What did you get up to whilst you were away, Lewis? Anything um, interesting? I went to North Wales. It was really good. I went with um, Bethan and a really close friend of ours, Thomas, and for Bethan's 22nd. But um, I spent the week in Lord of the Rings land. Um, you know, because we were sort of like, it's, you know, up north a bit. It, mountain ranges were like, oh, it's, it's probably going to snow. I didn't check the weather, but I was like, it's probably going to be icy. And I was getting really worried about the drive. Important question. Though. Go on. Did you hear Saruman in the background going, <laughs> <laughs> I love that bit. No, you well get, get a sticker going, <laughs> <laughs> that was a, That's the best impression ever. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> But I did, I did do a skit up the top of the mountain. If you saw my Instagram, I did do Gimli at the top of the mountain. I can't remember. I, I, I walked out the front and I was like, um, "Let us go to the mines of Moria." <laughs> and I was like walking around, like just shouting Lord of the Rings shit and getting on Bethan's Ooh, nose. But no, um, when we first before. drove there, it wasn't snowing. It was just really cold. And we got there that first night, and it was just cold. And the mountain, the top of the mountains, we were like, "Look at the snow on top of the mountains, all snow-capped mountains." And then, like two days after we were there. Fucking snow. And I remember driving. We were in the rain and you go up a little bit. Five minutes later, it's sort of sleeting. Five minutes later, in knee deep snow. And we were like, what the fuck? And I end up at the top of this mountain in like, it was like, if I took a picture of it, you'd have thought it was like the Alps. It was like this little village um, on top of a yeah. mountain with like a pub and a bloke sat outside a pub with a pipe, like in <laughs> knee deep snow with a fucking cliff edge next to it. It was like, it, it was so weird. So that's the thing, whenever we've gone, because we've been to Snowden and like Wales loads of times. Never seen the snow there ever. Did you make lucky. a snow den? You're pretty lucky. Uh, uh, right. No, but you've been waiting no, like, for no, two weeks to say that. That's so no, but shit. when I was outside every night having a cigarette, I was getting snowed on. Oh, oh I said that every oh. night without fail and drove oh, everyone was... fucking mental. I, I bet you did. I uh, <laughs> I apologise. Uh, we have. Three donations since oh. the last oh. in, our, in our two week break. You can't see three. If you want to shout out and all that sort of stuff, just donate it below. Uh, tip Hell out. yeah! Right, so the first one is from. I feel bad because I know there's going to be a someone's going to laugh at your last name. That's a really weird name to have as like a handle. Your, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Liam Hoa. Might be Hore. It looks like whore. Or ho ho ray. I know this. I know this. I know this guy though from Instagram. Yeah, is he a G? Yeah, he's a cool Did guy. Did you ask him how to Cheers, say G. his name? Uh, it, no, it's no. not much. Message one of us, not tell us. It's not much at all. But you fuckers have got me through some tough times recently. So thanks, Liam X. Much love, Liam. Uh, and I hope us saying your last name like that didn't make it things any worse. I, I, I'm. My last name's Cunt. <laughs> No, it's not. That's but. your first name, right? <laughs> right, the second one is from Bradley Kimmantz. I'm going to say... Yeah. Hmm. What happened Kimmons. to... It's got to be Kimmantz, isn't it? What's happened to Lewis's boxing days? Are you going to see a freeway boxing match between you guys soon? What yeah. happened to my boxing days? Well, I was... I basically, I don't want to slag off the company because they did really, really well. Ultra white collar boxing was. And the, the training that I got was... I Genuinely, it wasn't bullshit. Like, I was... Fit. I was as fit as I'd been in my life. It was eight weeks training. I'm not saying I was ripped. Of course I wasn't. But I, I wake. I woke up every day full of energy. I was eating all the right stuff. I felt really good. I was getting really quick and all that. And but you had to um you had to sell a certain amount of tickets to be able to do it. You still had the training, but all of my friends and everyone I knew were all away at festivals because it was in the middle of the summer. So I had no one to sell these tickets to. And it kept sort of going on. I was like, I'll sell the tickets. I'll sell the tickets. And then bang, it was like the cutoff point. And they were like, well, you haven't sold tickets. You're not doing it. So And, and I had three weeks training left. So I was like, well, if I'm not doing it, I'm not going to carry on. Because I sort of, I should have carried on. But I got down because it annoyed me. And I was like, I'm not going to get to fight. But it What's made the you point? feel so good. Yeah, but but I was pissed off that I wasn't going to be fighting at the mm. end of it. So it was at the mo- in the moment, it was like, oh, I'm annoyed. So I took three weeks off. And I... I but before I stopped, I messaged like the head person of our group and I was like, is there any way that if I can sell these tickets, I know it's after deadline, is there any way that I can I can still do it? And she was like, oh, I doubt it, but let me message someone. Forgot about it for three weeks. A day or like half a day before the weigh-in, she's like, oh yeah, no, you can still do it. You can still do it, we sort it out. And I was like, I've been sat on my ass wanking playing PlayStation for three weeks, eating shit, and now you want me to go and do it. They're like, yeah, Wayne's tomorrow at six. Yeah, you, oh, I was like, nah, on, forget Lewis. it. 
Dude, I could have beat, but no, I beat your ass. We how long? How many times did we say that we were gonna box there's, there's you? I say re- what? When no, there's a reason weight classes exist. You, you like if you like just went like that to either of us, you'd not. I'll tell you what though. No, um, I made it. I made a very good friend because it's all people from like, the local area. I, I met a really cool guy called Ant. Um, shout out because I know he watches. He's a fucking hero, and he's just this big. He was like the big friendly giant, and he was stood in the corner, and he sort of walked over to me in the first session. I was like, oh fuck. Like, oh god! And he was like, "You're Lewis, right?" From when so we sort of formed this little friendship. We were sort of helping each other out. I was a skinny little one; he was a big bloke, and we always sparred together. And you think like when you're training with each other, they'll still put you in the ring with someone. You're like first sparring session, yeah, you two in the ring. Guy was seventeen stone, battered the fuck out of me. Yeah, I can imagine he's. He stood on your toes and was just <laughs> well, no, like, thing was, like bring him back. Like. The thing was, I I got to, I was actually I don't like to brag about anything because I'm not good at anything, but I was surprisingly quite good at boxing. Only because I had no power behind me whatsoever. I'd have to hit you a million times before it hurt. But I was quick. Smaller target. I was really really Smaller fucking target. quick. I was Smaller I could target. run rings around you, but I wouldn't if I hit you. It wouldn't hurt. And one big blow, and I was da- I was like, whoa, fuck, I can't see. Yeah, I know, I know. So you, I had to sort of... Oh, that. yeah. We gotta do oh, it. you're a cunt, aren't you? So. What you got to do is you got to stand between your opponent and the ref, because then you can do some, <laughs> illegal, then you can do some illegal moves. You've got it. I just but no, um, in terms of that, I would like to do it again, because you can sign up anywhere, really. I think you can do it... I remember hearing something about you could only do it once, but I swear I've met people there that have done it multiple times. But there's ultra-white-collar boxing, and there's ultra-white-collar... um. Like UFC as well, and there's loads of shit. Ooh, but I would like, I'd like to go back and do the boxing because I really did enjoy it, and I would like to have the final fight. Right. Yeah, boom, boxing. And we were gonna vlog the whole thing. Yeah, but yeah, we, you didn't. So. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, you guys said you were coming, and then all of a sudden it was like. I think it was around the time I had no, my ankle surgery. Everyone was busy. That was the problem. If all my mates went at festivals and I had you guys around, I could have sold them out in a day. I didn't have ankle surgery. I just didn't want to go. <laughs> I don't think I invited you. I don't think you did. I don't think you did. Uh, That's well, probably a good reason why. <laughs> uh, the last one is Joe Keen. Joe Keen. Watch all your is podcasts. Is he joking? <laughs> Watch all your podcasts and fucking love them. Keeping up, G's and can't lie. Always got to spark a few zoots when I watch. Hell to the year. Too much love. All right. Thank you very much to everyone that just donated. Like I say, every podcast. You've been up. You don't done anything since the last podcast, Matt. Um, I burnt my finger today. <laughs> I burnt myself today. <laughs> yeah, so I left the. He's been complaining about this all day, dude. I left the. Uh, Oh, so the kettle's boiling, yeah? Oh, I'm so fucking ready to have this pot noodle. <laughs> and eating all morning. And I was pot like, noodles oh, are so yeah, shit. Yeah, man. boy. So it was heating up, yeah? <laughs> and I pulled it off as it went... Yeah? And I pulled it off and, and like the water was still bubbling inside. And when I went to pour it in there, it just went all over my finger. Oh, fuck. No, you're not lying. That's uh, pretty, it's not a nice... Like burn. there. If, you, if you're... Again, because we're now on Spotify and iTunes. If you're listening and you're not watching, Matt... It looks like he's got thrush on his finger. Oh, you like, can see where it, like... Is that where it trickles? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, dude, yeah. that's pretty graphic, that is, to that's be honest. pretty bad. That's horrible. So, yeah, that yeah, might fair enough. You can moan about that. So I can pop my blisters at you. That... <laughs> go with go. <laughs> uh, Fly. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I literally just got out of the shower earlier. Yeah. This time, I'm not, it's Same. not sweat. It's Same. just got out of the shower. And it it's hurts sweat. so much more in the oh, shower. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, it's... it's oh, yeah, the hot God, water burns in the shower. Up. God. Hot water fucks up. If you ever want to do hot glue gun again, straight in the shower, mate. Oh, no, oh fuck. fuck that. Fuck hot glue no, gun. We no, we go on holiday, yeah? Dude, we I've got... still got the fucking burn. It's, it's, it's like this big. It's like a fucking coin on the back of my knee. And it won't go. <laughs> of course it fucking won't. Did you see it? It was like, it was like a conker on the back of your leg. I know. Oh, oh mate. So but no, I... no, you do hot glue gun jacuzzi. Oh man, I never would have. Imagine that. No, you, then you get glued like that. Jack, Jack, Jack Gloozy. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, uh, okay, oh, yeah, should we go fuck. straight into the first one? I just want to mention one more thing. I know it's annoying. Oh, just get on with the funny stuff, guys. Come on. Yeah, man, come on. Can't remember what it was. So, the first topic is. Oh, fuck oh, wait, no, hell. oh wait, no, I need to talk about myself because I don't talk about myself here. Yeah. I'll wait until the end. When it... <laughs> <laughs> no, I. I... I, pa- I passed my theory test. I'm going to be going oh, oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm yeah, going to and and boot my practical test. Yeah, boy. So, ah. a month from now, I'm going to be running people over. Right. 
<laughs> at least at le- only old people. To be Simpsons fair, hit and run over only old people. To be fair okay. though, with a car you can get quite a lot of graves at once. Mm. You've got to go for the old ones though, because the fresh new ones are probably. I bet like they're made of some eco-friendly, mu- yeah, See, like yeah. But the old crumbly ones. I am. Just I need a grave. I am plow. wondering whether <laughs> grave, <laughs> <or> grave <laughs> plow. <laughs> I'm wondering about the like air intake with the engine because I I, I don't know whether grave dust gonna fuck it up or not. I don't want to fuck it up with grave. No, no. Oh, Wait. do you know what we need to do? We need to do a topic in the future. We need to do a topic in the future about um made-up TV shows. We need to do like um. You remember Robot Wars? Yeah. But we'll do it like actual size of actual cars in a graveyard, <laughs> <laughs> like like That'd a square incredible. graveyard. I was like... just thinking. I was just thinking. Has anyone have That's you seen so Have you seen I'm Mad sorry. Max? With yeah. the new one. Yeah. No. So you seen yeah, the Mel is Gibson it, one. What's his name? Something Joe. Uh, Immortal Joe. Uh, Immortal Joe. Yeah. I imagine I you having one of these, and like your front. Um, is it Fender? Bender? Yeah, Fender. My I, Fender, ben, yeah, bro. Yeah, Fender, Ben. I don't fucking know. Bumper. bumper. The bumper just has, like, suction, and it's like... <laughs> so you're, like, oh. <laughs> smashing all them graves. Sucks it up straight into the car. Comes out there. My comes lungs, lungs are allergic to everything but grave dust. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? First right, brilliant. topic is okay. this. Bow, bow. Greg, if you're listening, I hope you've put in the uh, logo on the top and our name tags at the start. <laughs> yeah, cunt. <laughs> I did it last time. In my you did, thing. you did. If okay. you send me the font as well, I'll make the thumbnail yeah, for it's, you. Yeah, it's because um, I've made uh, like an actual Vegas uh, one which has, Format every, now. has everything yeah, in yeah. it. So I just That's the easiest in. thing to do. Yeah. Right, so what is topic one? Topic, well, it's the only topic today, actually. It oh. is... Animals. I thought you said we had animals. animals. I thought you said we had one. Yeah, no, but we got a little, we got a little game. Show. We got a little game. Ah, it's not actually a topic. Okay, animals. Animals. Just no, no, no animals. No. More specifically, pets. Okay. All right. Just Domesticated down animals. So, a little bit. so uh, only pets. Where are you going with this? Explain first, and maybe we can. Okay, a lot so we can talk about animals. We, as we you can spoke... see, as normal, we're so fucking professional. We... That's because I don't like to tell you everything beforehand. I literally just say, right, we're doing this, this today. And you're like, okay. And I'm like, all right, read, read off my little notepad. <laughs> Go on. No, we'll let you do your right. thing. We, we, we can shoot. Go on. Ling, do your thing. I've got a few facts as well. Some oh. Is that it, fat it, not even facts. fat facts? Animal like... fat facts. Animal fat facts. So uh, facts about fat <clears throat> animals or, or an- facts animal... about animals from a fat? Yeah. That's it. Right. Oh, okay. I'm just checking. Fat. Good start. All right. Yeah, fat yeah, no, I'm going gonna, 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 gonna to narrow it down to pets because Greg's right. You could do TV shows, ones you've seen in the zoo. Da, 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 da. But I'm going to narrow it, it down cool to just pets. Tell you what, man, I saw some snow. We can talk, we can talk zoo. about the zoo. <laughs> in fact, we can talk about pets and the zoo. <laughs> I mean, the yeah, zoo well, is basically just a big, like yeah, it's just getting wild animals and like, yeah. locking them in to cages. To the zookeepers, they're big pets, aren't they? Is it? Yeah. Oh man, I, I actually feel really bad when I go to a zoo. I feel bad, but it then depends. you re- then you realise that those animals, if they were put back in their wild habitat, would just get killed by poachers. <coughs> it's like that's the thing because a lot of them are 22. a lot 22. of them are in danger. Exactly, it's it's, it's a funny it's like, old world. T- take them over there, they get skinned. Take yeah. them here, they just have to sit in a box because so cause elephant better. trunks have magic medicine in them. It's crazy. Some it? shit. Who the fuck believes that shit? Fucking. Nut jobs. <laughs> right, um, go on. Sorry. Right, when it comes to pets, go. what pets have you had? Me, I know about me and you, but Lives. you've had a yeah. couple, haven't you? Loads. Well, yeah. What from, from like my whole life? Yeah. Uh, rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters. Always growing up around cats. Guinea pigs. I got a shit. dog. Shit is pets. I hate fucking hate. Um, we had guinea pigs for a while. I fucking hate them. Yeah, that's it, really. Do you ever have rats? <laughs> we had rats before. We have rats. Religion. You have got a rat. <laughs> yeah, we nah, have got we a got rat a, now. We got a big rat. Because like, yeah, we got to eradicate. We we've had like quite. A f- we we had a rabbit. Well, we've had a few rabbits. We had one rabbit called I called it Nightmare, and I didn't call it Nightmare because because no. it was a nightmare. Well, it was, but. When I first got it, I called it Nightmare because I just bought Soul Calibur. <laughs> and there's a character in it called Nightmare, yeah. which I thought was 
badass as fuck. And I was like, oh, just what's the most badass thing? My fucking rabbit. I was I was like 11 years old, and I had just been listening to Slipknot and stuff. I, I was in my badass phase, okay? So I was like, badass yeah, phase what's a name for it? It's rabbit. Oh, yeah, nightmare. That's so cool. And yeah, so the nightmare would just jump at you, bite you, just attack you. It, 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 it suits the it's name. the worst rabbit And ever. then one day, it just disappeared, and I fucking... I, I didn't even ask my mum where it went. I was just like... Good reason. So I don't <laughs> fucking care, dude. It was horrible. my mum probably dude. like probably took it around the back and just stomped on it. Like, <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Um, you joking. can't say <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> that that's definitely Greg, stop drinking. Somewhere. Yeah, obviously. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we. Did. I was watching some murder yeah. program the other night, and it was about um. There was a suspect in a murder investigation, and they didn't know if he had or hadn't. You know, they sort of had enough evidence, but not quite. And this guy had like strangled these women and like with a shoelace. And they went to his children and said, did your dad ever behave sort of oddly when you were a kid? And they were like, he was a horrible, horrible bloke. And they said, one day he took us out into the woods and strangled the family dog with a with a belt or something. Just to show him like, this, this is life. And he just killed the dog in front in front of him. And it was like, it's an important oh, lesson all right. to have. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is an important lesson. Uh, is it, yeah. And if you, you don't think though, the and yeah. if you're unaware of how many animals and pets are abused or neglected, just go and look at how many animals are up for adoption. There's too many. There's a lot. There's a lot. Because people sadly don't realise that pets are for life or their life anyway. If it, it depends on the pet though, because some pets just don't live long. It's just like yeah, no, but that's that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. When you yeah, say pets, pets are, are for life, life it's you, their life. Yeah, yeah. But if you, they live four years, it's like, like, like years, isn't it? It's like, there's like the hamster tear. He's like a few years. No, but it just pisses me off. No. It's like it's like you know when parents buy their kid. It's like four years old and it's banging on the glass like, I want a rabbit, I want a rabbit. And they play with it for five minutes and then the owners don't know what to do with the fucking rabbit. So they either A, return it where mm. it goes to adoption and it's hard for it to be rehomed or because everyone wants a brand new, I want a new puppy, I want a new rabbit. Do you know what I mean? Or the rabbit or, thing doesn't or it just too dies. Much. Why doesn't it? And it? Because they're probably more look, better looked after in adoption than they would be otherwise. Yeah, but then, see... My, mine and Bethan's rabbits were adopted and they're fine with us now and they come up to us but when we first bought them they were they were a mess they didn't want to come near you they'd shake they were scared from. Maybe where we got nightmare from. we got nightmare from a breeder adopt animals never get anything adopt, from a breeder adopt pets never get anything adopt from. them there's one thing I disagree with and it's people that breed dogs Dude, that that's have health worst. issues bulldogs if you ever buy a bulldog Fucking bulldog yourself into a grinder, you can't. Pugs, mate. Pugs. You know when you watch, when you go on like Facebook videos and pugs are going like, oh, oh, mate. and they're making that noise and everyone's like, oh, it's, it's like, you know, it's because he can't fucking breathe. He can't breathe. He can't fucking he, breathe. He's like dying slowly. Yeah, it's like, it's true. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. they were bred that way yeah. because they are oh, the, oh, he's got no note because it looks cute. Mm. But when they're going, oh, 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 if oh, anything, like, you, should ne- you should never get a dog that's purebred. You should always get a, a mongrel. It's, that's just a fact. It's yeah. The, the whole... they, they, they have less health problems. I don't know that, much about that. That pug thing was it's it's when they go. <laughs> it's because they can't fucking breathe. Well, it could make a good thing on Gerg Sagan because the reason for it is basically it's Gerg basically Sagan. inbreeding. You you want to keep, you know, you want to keep a nice thing. So like, imagine if there was like I don't know, like a hundred people, and they were like, oh, from now on, all of our babies are just gonna fuck each other. But like after like. You know, like maybe like a few generations, everyone's going to start getting weird diseases because they got all these recessive genes. I don't know about all that. Fruit, I haven't heard about all and this it fucks shit. you up, man. Like, it's, it's called basically your genes have these things called recessive. Out, like uh, you basically have recessive genes in you. And what bit of early Gerg Sagan? <clears throat> and have you when, had enough to drink already? <laughs> Well, you, if you don't want to fucking know the facts, then I don't, want to don't know learn. the facts, Gerg. So you have recessive genes, mm. and essentially, when uh, things inbreed, those recessive genes come out because they're usually kept down by dominant genes. But because recessive genes are breeding right. with each other, you end up getting and recessive genes. And that's why inbred people have like six inbred. fingers. Uh, and, uh, right. It's recessive genes. I get it. Why aren't there just loads of tribes with. Because you, you would be very surprised by. How much tribes interbreed with each other? They have. They, in fact, a lot of tribes have traditions where either the daughter or the uh, son has to go live with another tribe. And there's loads the of cultures around no, the world no. as well where they marry their cousins. That's Trust true. me, you, you 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 cut a population off and they start breeding with each other forever. You get some weird shit. What about those? So pi- we went from rabbits to cultural inbreeding. Go what, on. Sorry. What? Just... Um. What about that? 
island of like there's 39 of them or something. Mm. What? That's what? That, there's about 100 of them. Yeah, the Sentinelese. Yeah. Uh, they, they killed this guy recently, like this yeah. uh, Christian preacher. Yeah, he's guy. Like, he was going to go 39 over. tribes? No, no, it's just like 39 people yeah, on one island. Like, it's, it's, it's and this, this missionary came over and he was like, oh, I'm going to like convert oh, they, them. And they, they these just people need him. to hear the word of Jesus. <laughs> They that's, just killed him. That's incredible. Yeah, they, like, need to, they need to hear the word of Jesus. I just imagine they just chucked a spear at him before he even hit the quite, fucking quite, land. Quite literally, I yeah. forget Good. you! Good. Yeah, so what, Good. Yeah, the Sentinelese are really, like... Harsh. I what, what, fuck. what happens with those populations is usually they've been interbreeding for so long that the recessive genes just die out. So if you interbreed oh, for long, long enough, enough... So with the Bulldogs, it could happen that they could one day... Be able to breathe properly. In the meantime, but I don't though, think I don't think they ever are. In the meantime, it's though, might... it's still fucking cruel. Yeah, so. And it, it, look into it. There are <clears throat> there are a lot of dogs that were bred purely to look cuter, and they have like deformities. Yeah, but we 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 say that this is harsh and everything, but Greg finds dogs with short spines the funniest thing. That on is the funniest the thing. In the uh, no, no, but it in my, is funny. In my defence, it's not because they're bred that way. It's just a disease. <laughs> it is. It is hilarious. It, I, if you guys have never seen them, I'm gonna it's... put a picture right here. Oh my god, look at him. It's <laughs> fucking funny. Uh, okay, yeah. Back to back to our pets. Okay, something, something a little bit nicer this time. So, what's your favourite pet you've had? Mine was my I cat. My, I, I, had a cat I had a cat called Tommy. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah our cat Jesse had, gave birth to him when I was like five, six, five, six. And he lived to 15 or 16. Mm. Oh, I love that motherfucker. He was like, he was like this big. He was like Built like a brick, mm. like brick shit house, and he was fluffy, and we called him the bear cat. He was amazing, and he was the best. The cat. bear Jew, <laughs> he, he, he come sit on you. Hey, Donnie. Because the thing is, I've got a cat now called. All right, man. <gasps> that just said eat on it. I don't know why. <laughs> it had an alarm. Yeah, so, to eat. <laughs> so I am. Um, yeah, so I'm sure a ca- you need, don't need to go and do that. You're good. Uh, oh, I, I have a cat now We're called Dar- Darwin. You've probably seen him if you've been on my Instagram. He is a piece of shit cat. And all he does is meow for food all the time. I, f- I love feed him. Feed him then. I love him, but no, but I feed. I've, it doesn't no, matter. You feed him like five times matter. a day. And I was he's just like, trying to make Greg look like a pet. So yeah, I, <laughs> sometimes you want to you want to strangle him, but I don't because I'm a good owner. But what? Well, so I really want to strangle that motherfucker. But um, but Tommy, oh man, if he wanted food, he can't curl up to you. He'd be nice to you, and you're like, oh, I know you want food, so I'm gonna be okay. And then you feed him, and then he comes back and curls back up to you. Whereas Darwin is just like yeah. stands at you, stares at your face, meow, meow, meow. It's just like uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking. I feel, I, I feel like Homer Simpson with Bart. <laughs> <laughs> I love, nah, I love nah, that cat. But he, he is yeah, such he, he is an a really asshole. Nice well, we, yeah, who's your favourite pet? Um, that's a good question. I don't question. know. Um, me and my cat Spaz are pretty tight. Yeah. My cat's called Spaz. It's yeah, a good name for those reasons. For a good cat. Mm. But on, at the doctor's, he's registered as Mo because his actual name is Spaz Mo. Mo. Yeah. I've always liked cats. Like I've never been a dog person. See, I haven't. Because the thing about dogs is, it's sort of like having a baby. You have to like wash them, and you have to see. Like, I I never liked dogs, and they die younger, which is also quite sad. And I'm not, I'm not really. I I I can safely say that I like dogs now. After dogs sitting with Bethan and stuff, and There's pictures in or something. What were you talking about? Uh, the time you oh fuck, the time you you hit you that bummed dog. a dog. Yeah, that time I shagged <laughs> that dog to death. No. <laughs> Oh um, shit! No. Was it, was it, what was his spine like? <laughs> well, it was broken afterwards. Oh, it was fixed before. <laughs> they do look like like a, a normal dog is like an accordion extended. <laughs> it's like it's like Slinky, it's like Slinky Dog from Toy Story. When he's yeah, sure. I know. Oh, my uh, God. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's yeah. Were well, you talking like, about? Uh, yeah. No. The thing about people that say that they hate cats and cats are horrible and they prefer mm. dogs to cats. It's always I. I have. I've had so many conversations with these sort of people because I grew up around cats. I've always had cats. Mm, same. Yeah. And and you go, have you ever had a cat? And they go, no. Or you go, dogs. have you ever been around somebody house with a cat? And they're like, no. And you go, and you go, why don't you like them? And they go, because they're selfish and you can't cuddle them and they don't give you the sort of affection that a dog does. They, they... Bull fucking shit. 
I will be, I will sit in my room, if, unless the cat wants to go out for a shit or get some food, that cat will sit and purr next to me all fucking day long. It mm. doesn't smell like a dog does. Mm. It doesn't dribble all over the place. And when people say cats are selfish, they're not selfish. They're just fucking independent. Cats mm. are like teenagers. They're uh, like, yeah. I'm going off for the that, afternoon. I might be back in like four hours. What, See you later. That's what I fucking love about cats. Yeah. It's like, you want Whereas to Whereas dogs are like, I don't know how to feed myself. Flat. The only time they ever piss you off is when they want food. Especially that Darwin motherfucker. You're watching this Darwin. Yeah. Um, like, but cats, yeah. cats are able to go out as well and get their own food. They're no, like, no, I'll no, go and catch we, a fucking we, mouse. We have a cat called Harvey yeah. and he's... He's like the mouse half, slayer. He's like half feral, and <laughs> honestly, yeah. I, I feed him like once every two days because he goes out and he kills his own food. Mm. And Dude, I love him. We got it's we great. got a new kitten like about six months ago, and she fucking she killed a robin the other day. Oh, that was yeah, bad. That's we so were bad. Try, we tried the to Batman save cry. it because it was still now. What, see what you're doing wrong is once they get a kill, you need to lock them in a room with the kill until they eat it. Because otherwise they start killing just What, like fun? when your dad catches you smoking for the first time and he makes you smoke a whole box of fags? That's ca- exactly... When you catch a cat fucking... See, see like, when my mum first... You're not coming out to you, When my you? mum first caught me smoking, she came back with an ounce. And she was like, Greg, you had to smoke this entire ounce. And I was like, man, I can't even smoke a tiny... She grabbed the bong and she was like, come on, Barry Big Bollocks. <laughs> come on, hey, cunt. So, uh, Greg, I know why Lewis doesn't like dogs. He has a dog. It's not I don't like dogs. Then, I do I do like dogs. I just much prefer but cats. I remember one time you came back to the Westman Challenge HQ and you were just annoyed at your dog because it would have come, come on its belly. Yeah. My dog <laughs> is always covered in his own jizz. And it's How? like... I don't know. I've never... Like, we ha- I've had cats it's in my like life. It's like green. Male it looks cats. like snot. Mel- I've had male cats in my life. Never seen jizz. That's a good thing about cats. Never jizz. I've never seen a cat's dick. Uh, yeah, they keep them that, to themselves. No, I know. I have. I have actually. Whereas a dog's like, here's my bollocks. We, I'm gonna lick them one now. Of our, one of our cats, we we didn't neuter till quite like late, and he had these massive balls, mm, like human. <laughs> so balls. yeah. So so yeah. He he his dick used to come out when he used to lick himself, but now that we cut them off. Yeah, make no dick. You know what I'm saying? I Darwin did used to suck his nipples though. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, for like a whole year. <laughs> yeah. He, well, what he would do is, is he, he, he would lay he would lay down like this and he this and he, is true he, like he would suck his nipples and start going like this <laughs> it was so weird <laughs> we, we just have odd animals I'm so glad he grew out of that yeah I, for, I totally forgot about that oh that really fucking hurt me like can we call this fucking podcast cat sucks his own nipples or is that going to get flagged <laughs> Like, nah, that's fine. Because that's fucking amazing. I don't know, maybe. Teats might get passed. Teats. Oh, shit in hell. M- mammary glands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, we've had some bizarre mm. stories. Our parents, when we were growing up, oh. we had chipmunks. Yeah. See, yeah. that's mental. We had chipmunks. Mm. They had a, we had a big cage I don't think you outside. can even get them in this country. Uh, and you yeah. can't anymore, but uh, my mum... Well, she used to breed them yeah. and sell them to uh, pets at home. Seriously? Yeah. Mm. Fuck. Uh, they... Chipmunks are awesome animals, though. I bet they're pretty awesome when they when they're good, dude. But, sometimes but they are pretty bad. They're, they're very, uh, they, you know, like how a, like a cat's domesticated. You mm. know, it, like it it knows to live as a like with humans and shit. They don't fucking know that. They, they, these motherfuckers, they, they're like <laughs> if it's a slightly cold winter, they just eat their children. Yeah, <laughs> they don't give a fuck. They they. Straight to, bone, this is the most straight to the bone, man. Straight to the bone. It's ever. crazy. They, they, yeah, if, if it's a they, cold they, winter, they, they chew them up. They chew them nature up. is metal as fuck, man. I'll it's tell you crazy. what, you've got to be careful around there. What was the worst thing, though, is when we first got them, they had we had a, a cage that was literally just, you open the cage and go in. And obviously, you're, you're a person, so there's a lot of room for them to get out. Mm. They used to get out, and then my mum would have to like run around the neighbourhood looking for it. They, yeah. She always found them. Seriously, but, how the yeah. fuck she always find them? Chipmunks are tiny. Mm. Nah, but our, our mum's like a animal tracker. You know what she mean? She like we we used to have this issue with like our old cats when we were younger, like because they would know when it was time to go to the vets. Because they fucking know. Because you start get you, they, you they, get the box. They, 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 the cat they, box out. Out. No, but <laughs> they, they they've like tracked them. They, well, they've honed their their cat. Abilities to that's why I don't have a cat flat. As soon as they hear that particular sound frequency of it being lifted off the shelf, (laughs) they they can hear it and they're like, (laughs) Get the fuck out of here! And she would have to go around the neighborhood like hunting them Mm. to get them in the box. Do you know what? (laughs) I think the best thing about cats is 
And when I say the best, it, it's a horrible, horrible thing, and I hate it because I've experienced it a lot, always having cats, and it is horrible. But by the best, I mean it shows you what team fucking players they are. Cats take themselves off to die. Mm. Do you know what I mean? They'll, they'll sort of, when they're old and they they know about dying, they'll take themselves off a and lie to them. Do. Because they're like, I love you guys, but I don't want to. I don't want to burden you. So I'm just going to go hide behind this tree. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. You know? You say that. One of our cats passed away. Like, just right in front of our mum. But yeah, yeah, some, that, some that, of them that, do that. that, that but a lot funny. of the time, that, if they, if they, they know they're Yeah, because yeah, they yeah, I, I came home from work and um, my mum was just like crying. No, and that's I, not how it happened. Well, yeah, it was. I no, it sure. that, that's how I, I, I came home from work. I swear down. No. She didn't tell me till I came home from work. We were at a mate's house. Were we? Yeah, and she called you. I can't remember. She man. called you. I swear I was at work. No, no, no. Am I thinking about we, something else? We, we, no, we were this together is, at the time like at, four or five at years one of ago. our friends' houses. She called up and she was just like, oh, yeah. It's just like, she was like hysterical. Like, he's just died. And we were like, what the fuck? Yeah. How old was he? Um, 16. 16 That's 15, fucking 16. old for a cat. Mm. And he was yeah. big. Yeah, mm. well, I, it's like kind of, how you don't see many fat old people. Yeah. That's a very good point you've just made there. It's yeah. true. They don't, no, it's actually, they don't, yeah, it's they don't thing is like a beast old oh, no, people. No, 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 but no, but like even muscular old people now. I actually tell you this one. Like wrestlers. Because I was talking to yeah, my I talked to my grandpa stage. about this like probably like a few years ago. Cause he used to be like a bodybuilder and weightlifter. Mm. And I said to him, I was like do you like know any of like your old mates? And he's like, nah, they like, all died of heart attacks. Mm. Roids. It's not even no, but he 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 always says, "Oh, we never used to use roids back in the day." But uh, they, they probably did. Roids. I'm even, not um, be surprised if they did. Bodybuilders, roids. Yeah. Even long heart distance runners don't live for very long. They get bad hearts, apparently. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. That's the. Do you know what? That's moderation. That's, it's all about moderation. That's the thing. So many. I've always noticed that you're always prompted to live like a healthy life and shit. I think they're just trying to get the fucking surface population down because all these like sportsmen people they all die of heart attacks and this and that. Mm. And they all die suddenly really young. But the absolute pieces of shit of the world. You know what I mean? That spend nothing. Smoking. All day just Smoking, smoking And day. drinking yeah. And moaning about Immigrants and stuff And like <laughs> Oh you fucking you know, Have a pork pie now oh, yeah. they, all, they all live to like A hundred Look at the colour Of your skin <laughs> <laughs> Now, and then, and then, and then, but the thing is, she says that as her like entire fingers there are brown <laughs> from how much she smokes. Uh, and her teeth, I, yeah. I know, I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? You, you always look at it and go, know, "They'll fucking outlive all but, of us, won't they?" But think of it this way, yeah. How many fat Japanese people are there? <laughs> the Have sumo, you watched sumo, sumo wrestlers? Yeah, yeah. Sumo, yeah, sumo, yeah, sumo wrestlers. Is. They bring the national deaf age down. <laughs> But <laughs> they they die young. They but, die young. Die young. but <laughs> so I don't know what I just said. <laughs> all the old <laughs> Japanese people are really thin and they live forever. But why, why, they do. yeah, but why don't they care about forever. like like Japanese people? They're like Highlander. Really... Yeah, well, you got to cut off the head. I don't get it because it's like every person in Japan is just uh, amazing. Hell... I was really they all look about like I, sixty, I, don't they? They're, they're like I'm one hundred and four. Yeah, they're, like... they're either really <laughs> skinny or they're like average weight. And then the sumo wrestlers. There's no in between. You're either a sumo wrestler or you're just like normal Japanese dude. I'll tell you what mm. though, it is something about the the way you live. Because we're, do you know what I mean? We're sort of, I don't want to say civilised. Do you know? But like where we've got, we're sort of seen as the predominant like, With the west world. of the western first, do you know what I mean? First we're all probably like, we're super healthy. We've got vitamins. We've got this. We've got that. But we're all, you know, our average life expectancy for a male in this country, I don't know, what, like what? Se- it's 70, it? Yeah, it brings like up that. another but interesting question. To, I swear, I cannot remember who told me this the other day, but someone told me, it was like the oldest man and the oldest woman in the world were both from the same fucking village somewhere. Dude, and it was like in cool. the east There's, somewhere. They, it's they like, found fuck some, off, they man, found like, some like, Fountain of youth together. But I was watching some, but it's it's something, it's got to be something like, it's it's like, like the, in the East Indiana Mouse. Indiana of Christ. In the East Mouse, like, they're either like genetically different or they're just, it's not about the way they live. Because I cannot remember what TV show I was watching again as well, but like, they, they he had to get like a bag of flour and take it to some woman on top of a hill to sort of like, as you know, I'll give this to you. You you mm. make me so out of it, but I bring it to you. And she stood there grinding away and she's like, yeah, I, I, this is my job. And I, how old are you? And she's like, oh, I'm 103. And they're like, 
I think what I think, the fuck? She's just stood there working, like, yeah, give me that big bag of flour, and she's just, and it's like. I think one of the reasons what? that Japanese are going to live long is because they eat like they they eat a lot of fish and stuff like that, which is healthy meat instead oh, well. of you know like beef, because beef's like bad meat. But like, but and they, really they, like they, they eat a lot of vegetables yeah. and stuff. But it's also because they have a culture that if you eat too much, you're seen as like. A bad person. I think it's because whereas, they... it, whereas it's somewhere like America, it's yeah, like, it's also... oh god damn, we're gonna watch some eating challenge videos. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's, what I mean, it's though. Al- it's also because they look it's after a... their old. That's and true, I think it's because yeah. they eat so much weird shit that they've become immune to so many things. That could be true, also. You know. Uh, and and, and another thing is uh, we're talking about pets at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah wait, wait, wait. Well, actually, oh, I, I, I actually it. have a Japanese pet. Do you? Not a human. I'm uh, not a human. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah, uh, yeah. So, we've spoke about a few things. Here's one that... Um, it will segue into what I want to talk about. One time, me and Greg were in Egypt. Go on. <laughs> I'm not going to open my mouth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I have nothing but bad things to say about that place. <laughs> no, no, no. We so we went to. Oh, this is just weird, right? So we 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 go off. Um, kind of nervous. Is this when we went to Cairo. No. When was it? No. So we went to this tribe that's out in the desert. Yeah? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. But the so it's like a a thing you go for like the day, and what you do is like, like wild boys, like the Aguris. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So <laughs> we, you, you go there, and it's um. You do um, quad biking. Yeah, we and are an ancient tribe. You, Please you, pay you, us five yeah. euros to enter. No, no, it's like <laughs> you, you go quad biking and stuff. And it's like a really cool day and everything. Quad and it, biking. And then at the end of the yeah, quad across, biking, across quad the biking desert. in the desert is the fucking coolest thing I've ever Dude, done. Dude, and they don't have any like caps or anything. They're they just they like, have no speed limit just, or anything. It's just, just like press this button and you're like <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. press this button. I, I've never driven anything in my life, and I was there like going fucking like. <laughs> <laughs> 70 miles an hour in the desert like it was fucking <laughs> mental it was so fun that's pretty cool but at the end of the day yeah you go into uh, like <laughs> we went into this hut oh, and God. it was like an Egyptian hut zoo <laughs> yeah <laughs> shit I forgot about this and it just had was that uh, an Egyptian <laughs> pharaoh wasn't it old hut zoo <laughs> <laughs> no, we go went. On. So we go. Oh, we go to like Egyptian. No, it's not that bad. We just go into this Egyptian hut, yeah, and um, <laughs> it's just got like sh- just stupid shit animals in there. There's like a chicken, and then <laughs> the, one chicken. Yeah, what, and, then, what? and then they have like this. <laughs> there's like this wooden tank, and it, there's just this snake coming out of it. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like it's like, like halfway out. Yeah, it's like coming out of the tank. And we're, we're just like, all right, so you're gonna do anything about it? It's like, <laughs> I'll wait till. Oh, we get... it's like, it's like... oh no no no! I'm just saying. It's like, oh. it's like it's like oh yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait till he gets out. I'll wait till the like, vent's in like, you. Like, until then... he's fully out is not my problem. <laughs> but we, we like you go in and it's this tiny hut and you just turn it. You're literally just spinning around. And they do. They, the they, they have like a whole yeah. other way of treating. You touch you by. It's like, it was just like this venomous snake, just like. <laughs> you met my mate over oh, here, the chicken. God. And then, uh, yeah, and then they, they eat like hell. goats and shit as well. Yeah, what, no... the snake or the or the people? Ah, just the people. Yeah, yeah but I will say Curry this. Goat. Th- those Berbers were ten times more civilized than Cairo. They were really good. Cairo uh, but was uncivilized. The thing is, right, is you go there and it's like, oh, this is actual like tribe and everything and you know you, and they're and, on their mobile phones. yeah they're on their mobile phones and they've all got like jeeps and they're they, at the end of the day they just drive home oh so they don't not, even live no, in the huts no Damn. that's not a tribe yeah. no, no it's not a tribe no that's not but a it, tribe. Make, it made them a lot of money it's I, a I tourist bet. trap is what that is it was fun though it was it worth was. but yeah we, we were young we didn't that would make it. a good fucking topic for the future like tourist traps yeah. and shit abroad that drives you nuts Dark tourist yeah Exotic pets. That's where I was going. Oh, mate, my I got my favorite pet, and I want one. But I what can't... do you mean? Like, if you could have one? No, yeah. you know, like pets that you can have. My well, my my one is one that you have to jump through loads of hoops and get a license for in England, and it's a raccoon. I fucking want a raccoon, mate. They got fucking farms. I don't know what. Yeah, <laughs> they, mate, they can pick shit up. 
Well, you, are you, I can imagine you're thinking, like, oh, yeah, he's going to drink a few beers with me, play some PlayStation. Ah, he's shit. Carl, yeah. He's Carl Pilkington, isn't he? Yeah, but, like... He thinks... Thumbs are important, because... <laughs> That's a quote. Cause, no, because they can pick stuff up. Have you seen, like, the picture, okay, where there's cats or dogs or some shit eating their food, raccoon comes up, picks it up, and w- runs off of it. There's loads I of want, animals yeah, that but do I that. Want my, Squirrels. Yeah, but I want a raccoon to compete with Darwin. Right. They're the same. Darwin, thing. Need, yeah, Darwin is like a Darwin's raccoon. raccoon he's, without he's thumbs. A fucking raccoon. With a, yeah, but that's why I want thumbs because Darwin would be ten times cooler. Yeah, fine. I thought um, he would have liked one of them lynx cats. I I feel like oh, shit. It'd be expensive because you ever have to Manx, get them like. <coughs> yeah, but let's just say let's just say for you know for like you you can pick whatever you want and you don't have to worry about the cost it's just like if you could have any if you could have any animal as a pet domesticated Still what raccoon. would it be? raccoon actually no can, wait can it does it obey my orders well yeah something that can be domesticated as well <laughs> 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 I'm just in the fucking pond outside. Man, yeah? I'll, I'll, I'll put like a fence on his back, and, and then like d- like deck chairs, and I'll get him to just like sit on the surface of water, and it'd be like my own boat. That's a pretty funny idea. No, you'd have to put him on reins, so yeah. he just goes down. And you got yank him back up. Just again. don't go anywhere near Japanese seas, because you'll. Mate, I'll tell you your, what. Your little boat will sink. I'll, I'll get an animal that can... Like, there's... What, what the sp- sperm whales. Sperm whales eat like squid. Yeah? Where Japanese, store- pe- Japanese people eat squid. They must taste like squid. So you'd My rather sperm have a whale... whale eat them. <sighs> so you'd rather have a whale over... <laughs> what? Yeah, but sperm whale... Yeah, yeah, I get you. Right, Albino right, 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 sperm right, right. whale. Where would you store this whale Where while you're at home? Nowhere near the sea. No, I... I It'd be like, you know, like when people have horses, it's like, it's not really yours because you have to go to a fucking stable to see it. Well, you're going to put it in the dock with no, everyone's yeah, no, you No, know, I'm going to let him go free and then I'll have my, like, like, like a big a horn, shell. Yeah, no, a big yeah. shell. A and conch go, shell. <laughs> and, then, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and he comes out. <laughs> that's fair enough the only issue is it, like if he beaches himself accidentally what about you well, if you could you, domesticate it, that's any... your fault you did ask that question you did yeah but I didn't think he'd be a complete cunt and say a that's whale that's a good idea I just I love whales I think they're one of the um, best creatures alright well your serious answer was a raccoon but if you yeah. could domesticate any pet, any, any leg- animal in any world, legit animal even. okay I think it'd be because they're very intelligent <coughs> and they can sing they do. They have whale songs. I'm not joking. Have you listened to whale songs? <laughs> yeah. Go on. Oh, I'm still man. thinking. We're giving you like. Can I go while you think? What animal has the biggest dick? A uh, killer whale, I think. I believe. But for like, and, well, no, a blue whale has the biggest dick, but proportion to their body size, I think killer whales have the biggest. No, dick. fifty thousand spiders per acre of Greenland. That doesn't surprise me at all. Like Greenland? As in like grass. Oh, I thought you like, meant green. Like rainforest. That's mm. gross. Yeah, that's gross, but that's... That's it's fucking disgusting. That makes a lot of sense. I quite like spiders. <laughs> ah, that's the face I miss. Oh, you don't like spiders? He I hates them, hate man. Really? Yeah, really fucking hate What's it about them you don't like? Greg, Is it like their legs? Their existence. Is your oh, okay. mate who's got like a bunch of tarantulas? Uh, yeah. Why? Don't bother. Don't bother. Oh, yeah. Because I will squash it in front of his fucking eyes. He'll go, this is my beloved pet, Ursula. Isn't she pretty? And I'll go, well, that. fuck off. Like Dude, that. That, would not, that wouldn't do anything to it. I'd, yeah. I'd fucking, I'd get a can of deodorant and hey, a lighter. You, you <laughs> did that. The tarantula turned around and be like, oh, 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 oh. I remember when we, went, when we went to go film with TGF. <laughs> he was like, oh, you don't like tarantulas. And then you were just like, oh, mate, if you get it out, I'll squish it. Yeah, I'll, I, I will yeah. chuck it down a drain. Like people think it's funny. Like, <laughs> oh, I got a like, I'll, I'll kill it in front of you. And I love animals. I'll kill that fucker in front of you. I don't mind killing spiders. Dude, I, if I, you I get your mate anywhere near me with a spider, yeah, I'll yeah, squash it. it. Yeah, if you watch it back, I winked. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I don't, don't care. Have a I, I, there are a lot of people that have tarantulas. I don't like spiders either. I, I, if I see a spider, I kill it. It's just that's just the way I live. I can't. Um, oh, really. I, I I throw things from afar. It a feels good. It, it, do you want to hear? Do you want a quick yeah. Lewis fact about how petrified I am of spiders? Mm. Right. So, um, Bethan's house. Uh, we live together now, out of mine, but in her house, her family house, 
it's it was originally a one whole house, but it's been split in like to two houses. Mm. So like one side of the house is like no windows or like doors or anything, right? And her bedroom is got a window and and a door. That that's it. And like you, there's no alternative route. Like that's it. And I remember I had to go and like pick her up from work one day or so. And I, I, she was redecorating her bedroom at the time, so I was at home painting. And I was like, oh, I've got you know like half an hour until I've got to pick her up, so I'll leave in a minute. And I'm getting ready to go out the door, and this fucking gargantuan spider is like there. And I'm I'm I message Beth and like I'm sorry, but I can't leave your bedroom. I can't leave to come and pick you up. And she's like, she was like, my mum's downstairs, call my mum. And I was like, I don't want to trouble your mum. And she's like, she'll get it with a hoover. And I'm like, I'm not, I am not calling your mum up here. So I waited for this spider to move and it moves up a wall, right? And Why didn't I, you blow at it? Because it was miles away. It was like, it, it was really far away. It was, well, it was put, like that big. Didn't you put, well, you could just put a cup over it. It was like, no, because it went up like on the wall. I didn't oh, have oh, a okay. cup. I was in a bedroom. All I had was a fucking paintbrush. One of the best things to do if you really want to fuck a trans shop and give it like something that teaches the, the others watching not to mess with you is you get it, you put it in a cup, you get some deodorant, you spray the d- cup full of deodorant, yeah? Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then you light it. I didn't and then have you put the cup I, back over. Yeah, but what I'm and, saying and it lives, is... And it's like a huge flame ball and it kills What them. I'm saying is, I, yeah, I, I can kill them, but what I'm saying is, I didn't have the means to. I was in a bedroom, I was redecorating, yeah, I had a paint. Br- no, I had a paintbrush, that was it. Oh, the bedroom was empty. Paint. No. Drowned in paint. The worst thing was, is that it, when it was on the floor, I like, because our bedroom door's there, and you walk straight, and then the stairs go round the wall, and you can't mm. see down yeah. the stairs. So I was like, right, I'll, I'll leave it there. And, and I'll, I'll quickly run around it and run down the stairs, right? But I've something in me was like, nah, I can get this fucker. So I found a flip-flop like in the hallway and I fucking launched it at this thing. And it hit it and I was like, yes. But then I saw it like, nah, bitch. And it like lifted it up and walked. And it went up the wall and round the stairs and then vanished. And I was like, there is no way I'm going round that stair wall and it'd be right there. So I climbed out her bedroom window. That's how petrified. You climbed out the bedroom window. I climbed, out, I make... climbed out the bedroom window onto the roof, onto the Why? garage. Because I I couldn't bring myself <laughs> to walk round the corner. I was still in the hallway going, come on, just walk on the stairs. And I couldn't do it. How much would you have freaked out as if you were going over towards the top of the garage and you just got that, you know when you get a cobweb face? Have you ever had that? Yeah, cobweb face doesn't, it's just a bit like, oh, that's gross. No, but there's, but, there's always a spider on the end of that cobweb. Yeah, I was, well, if there was a spider on it, you know, but, but normally they're just, it's just a, like a line of it in it, and you end up with it in your fucking mouth or something, you just move it. But, yeah, but you know, we used to have a big, means the spiders we, we used to have something. a big spider problem in this house. Like in this room, nice. especially, we used to get like the big ones, like the ones that all right. their bodies are like that big. Uh, but I, I murdered them all. I, yeah. I, I like went after their children. And I well, my them, like, bedroom's Greg, full you're of... just on one glass of wine. What Dude, is wrong with that's you? In... Right, no, my bedroom's no, full of did, my you? bedroom's full of conkers because I remember some old wives' tale. It's probably true, actually, because since doing it, I don't get spiders in my bedroom. Mm. Like, if you put conkers, like fresh conkers, in your bedroom, you don't get spiders. I put a load in my windowsill. I used to get spiders in my bedroom all the time. I haven't seen a spider in my bedroom in about I just, four I, years. I, I just slaughtered them all, and then we just don't have a problem with them anymore. <clears throat> yeah, Greg's so badass. Right, so there, I've got I two more. Badass. I am pretty badass. You said you said about snipping off the legs. You can snip the eyes off a snail and they'll grow back. Is there anyone way to find Don't do out? that though. That's cruel. That is pretty but... cruel. But then again, it is a mollusk, and mollusks are very primitive, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much. Yeah, but still, don't cut the eyes off of a just snail. in case. It's a very interesting fact. But what about like just that? That remember that old meme of like the the saw salt maze, and it's got like a snail in the middle, and it's like a maze made out of salt. again. You have you have you have a pool saw <laughs> on a snail. One of my first memories, I remember being sat in the front garden of my grandparents' house, and I was going, like, "Oh, granddad, look, there's a there's a slug. It was a slug or a snail. I can't fucking remember." I'm going, oh, there's a slug. And he went, "Ah, oh, pour salt on it." I was like, "Why pour salt on it?" And he's like, "Ah, oh, because it um it melts them away." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, magic." And he poured salt on it, and he was like, "There we go." And he walked inside, and I was horrified because it was like this slug that I would play him with for five minutes it was like. The old, yeah, for the so old... I found a leaf. Yeah. I found a big strong leaf, and I scraped as much of the salty goo off it as I could, and let it 
<laughs> Try to let it go. It's like, I've, I've, probably it just, like, I've already just prolonged his yeah, death. Yeah, you should have just stopped. Like, you you he's like, fucking, you should have just stopped me die. Yeah, the best, right. best way to I kill, was like five. Best way to kill animals like that is nice and swift. You give them a good stomp. That's it. <laughs> Uh, you see a snail and you need to get rid of it because you know he's going to come back and eat your crops. It's lucky my granddad wasn't French because he'd have taken it inside and fried it up. Snails taste all right. Yeah, Matt's had snails. I've never had snails. Escargo. Yeah, escargo. I know. He ate a tin of escargo in front of me. I've also eaten the shells. That's gross. No, that's a bit weird. That's a bit weird. Uh, okay. okay, so the last fat animal fact is... An- fatimal fact. The phrase, it's raining cats and dogs. Actually, comes from the fact that there used to be many homeless animals in the 1700s that drowned, giving the appearance that it had rained cat and some dogs. That's that's very morbid. Mm. What the fuck are you trying to do to this? Podcast? I kind of want to laugh, but I feel like if I laugh, I look sadistic. So I have to keep my cool and make myself seem like a normal human being. <laughs> it's too late for that, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> Right, that's really nice. Yeah, but I've also got to say that so everyone remembers I'm badass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a medal. badass motherfucker. No. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Fat, for the animal yeah. facts. That's very good. If you've got any animal facts, please write them in the comments. Or let... favourite favorite animal, like your, your favourite yeah. pet. Uh, let us know, your, let us know about yeah. your favourite pet. Let us know either your favourite animal, favourite pet, or whatever the weirdest fact is that you know about animals. Just write in the comments, I'd like, basically. Yeah, just write, just it, write yeah. anything. Oh, can I just point out before <clears> we go into our... Celebrity impression off. We you had. Spoiled it. You didn't tell. Yeah, jeez. Oh man, you're, you're Who so. Who gives a fuck? You, 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 they read the description. Good point. <laughs> I don't think they have. You'd be a terrible TV host. Um, okay, that's why on. I'm not one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, Andrew Stevenson re- uh, left a nice comment on our last huh. pos- podcast. Oh, yeah, I like this one. This it's a good. great podcast. But as usual, your creepy, unfunny brother, Greg, ruins the podcast the way he stares at you for constant approval. It's very weird. All right, I'm going to stick up for Greg here. Greg doesn't stare at Matt for constant approval. Greg stares at Matt because he knows... Because he, all Greg's only aim in life is to push... The content that we do as far as he possibly can, yeah, and he's okay. waiting for that reaction. He'll say something like "sniffing graves and fucking dead dogs," and he'll look over like, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. and he's waiting for me or Matt to go. Greg, you can't say. Well, that. I'm mainly looking for Matt's yeah. reaction because I know when, like, the, when I say the weird, creepy shit, the shit that, like, you know, uh, I Matt's always got this. Greg, you can't say that. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I need to have like a. a, a I need a compilation. Yeah, I need a compilation. I want, I want, I want a compilation of. Oh, Greg! You guys <laughs> don't know how much I've had to. Well, we've had to cut out because Matt's yeah. just like you can't keep that in. I've we cut, would I've keep cut it out in. like we half an hour like debates or conversations before yeah. when we're sat around going, yeah, you can fucking say beep 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 like. Yeah, but Matt, Matt, like, Matt, Matt disagrees. So. Yeah, that's why we're so... It's only because one day we might get sponsors. That, yeah, this is why we're so PG-13. Mm. So PC. We're not PG. No, we're, we're not, fucking we're not. not. We say everything. We're in the Amazon. Yeah, we got sponsored by Amazon to go it's to not the... not sponsored. We got... Uh... We got sent to the Amazon by Amazon. There's an affiliate link down below. If you ever want to buy anything from Amazon, go there. Because then you can support our podcast. Yeah, now we're gonna we're gonna go hunt some people. We're gonna go shrink their heads. Let's go. Shrinking heads. <laughs> Shrinking heads. But seriously, this is real. Yeah, this is real. This is a legit advert. This is a, yeah. I don't know. You're gonna buy a, buy a car off Amazon and use our affiliate link. You know. Can you buy cars? I don't fucking know. Well, just buy. I just, just buy use Amazon some... to buy that. <laughs> they... You know what I mean? Wait, this is like kind of a holocaust. <laughs> Also, we're looking for Jeff Bezos' nudes. <laughs> That's why we're here. I heard <laughs> that they've been sent to the deep dark of the Amazon rainforest, and we're going to find them. We're just getting them back for him, because we were hired by Amazon. Yeah. Not sponsored. No, not we're not. We're, we're finding Jeff Bezos' nudes. <laughs> we're going to save them. In the Amazon. That's, that's, I can't even hold together. That's dumb. Okay. Link. 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 Yes, yeah, so right. back after a little break. We've had a little, we've had tea up. Little and, uh, refreshment. And then we got yeah. some beer. So <laughs> let's get going. Yes. Uh, so I've sent you both separately celebrity impressions, 
You don't have to do every single one I said. I want to do uh, them. They're ones I yeah. assume that you might be able to do in some way. You sent me about five, and I'm confident on about two, two or three of them. So you don't have to do the ones I sent you, but... <laughs> oh, I like the ones you sent me. They're pretty good. Yeah. Play along with us in the comments. Who's going first? I'll I'll go. I'll you can also Gre- do your own, sorry. I'll, I'll let go Greg first. go first. I'll go first, because <laughs> Lewis is better than me, so I need a head start. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I bet you sent him ridiculous ones just to hear him. Like, I bet it's like that one was Nelson Mandela. <laughs> you talking to me? Oh, you're um, you're fucking, you're Robert De Niro. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. See, I'm pretty good. See, huh? No, no, no. <laughs> the voice wasn't that great, but it was the. It's the. You talking to me? You're talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. He speaks with like some shit. Can you milk me? Can you milk me? Oh, okay. Um, so it's one nil. Max, Max, I'm feeling somebody stop me. Smoking. Oh, the the mask man. <laughs> the man with the mask. The green dude. <laughs> does he get? Does he not get a point if he does? I always put his face the, like green, hubba bubba the, the green. The, 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 yeah, the green hubba bubba the green, the, green, the green terror. <laughs> What's his name, Greg? Um, gr- uh, is he fucking? He does know his name. Of course, it is the mask. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he gets the point. The no, you got to say the name, Greg. Huh? You got to say the name. Because I think you're trying to sidetrack this, like oh, the what mask. The... I said the mask. No, no, no. Yeah, but yeah, what's who... the guy's name? What the actor? Oh, Jim Carrey. Oh, right. Okay, I know. He's just googled but... that right there. The mask's name is Stanley Ipkiss. Right, let's see. <coughs> yeah. Robert De Niro. No, no, <laughs> no close. Do you feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? You're um. Clint Eastwood. Yeah, yeah. I almost forgot his can name. I, can I just can I just interject? Yeah. From now on, you can't do quotes from movies because it gives it away far too much. Yeah, I think that's, okay. that's fair. I guess. Oh, but that's so hard. Okay. All right. <laughs> There's one that without quotes from movies is gonna make no all right, sense. All right. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Ricky Gervais. <laughs> Uh, every, uh, every, every film I'm in, I play the same character. I'm a big fat Jew and uh, I smoke, a, I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> Dude, every time, like, me and him used to look, we're looking at each other every like 30 minutes doing that in Amsterdam. <laughs> Just we thought it was laughing. the funniest yeah. thing ever. He, he got his phone out, he was like, do an impression of blah blah, blah. it's something random, and I'd just go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on then. <laughs> I'm not sure. I got no. I got to shake my. my oh, right. I got to shake my vocal cords to it. <laughs> the best way to deal with a woman is with a swift fist. Oh, oh. Are you being Sean Connery? <laughs> yeah. Right. What? You got to do the rat thing. What's the difference between you and a wet rat? I don't know. One's a wet rat. I can't remember how the joke ends, but your nose is big. <laughs> <laughs> you, you turned into you turned into like Charles Dance at the end, like. <laughs> but, your, <laughs> but your nose is big. <laughs> you, that was Sean Connery. Yeah, that was Sean Connery. And, yeah. and the book is in Berlin. Right. Like, okay. Right. Mi- what we named the dog. <laughs> That's what we named the dog. Right. Um. Okay. Ah. Uh, right. Okay. Let me. Let me think. Let me think. Um, Two little mice fell into a bucket of cream. And when the other one got out, he turned it into butter. (laughs) Whoa. Whoa. Bobby. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. Hey, Greg. Why are you in the podcasts at all, Greg? Why? 
Do you know who it is? Christopher Walken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got that like, straight away, but I, I was trying to remember his name. I was like, oh, what's this guy? Whoa! Doing? Hey, why? He's one of the bug, why? the bug squad. Did he have like a stroke when he was like young? That just made it so he... I he remembered... Has have, he has to have breaks between sentences. I thought of somebody... I don't know if I wrote in the Discord the other day, but I thought of somebody that you missed out of the bug eyes squad. You, Elijah Wood. The bug squad. You need yeah. the fro- You need. Yeah. You need the fellowship in the, well, the little bug yeah, squad. Yeah, you, you got to have the small one out of the. Out yeah. of the out of Are three. you keeping tally of the scores here? Oh, we're all, we've won. We've got all of them, haven't we? Yeah. Right, go on your turn. Two one. I just I three, thought two, of that one off the top. Three, I need to think four. of one while Greg's. Um... Three or Gollum. No, I'm. I'm, I'm doing oh right, okay. Ball. He's doing his little practice thing again. <laughs> <laughs> I know who this is. Angela Lansbury. <laughs> that was a good one. That's good a good comments. answer. <laughs> Welcome to the Abbey. Maggie Smith. <laughs> Peter! Didn't sound anything like Maggie Smith. Peter, but from the Abbey, don't I got it. Know who you are? Peter, don't you know who you are? <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> um, Maggie Smith's a babe. I've got one. I want you to do, but I don't know if you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Which well, obvious as soon as I say the first thing. Just, just keep going. Wow. I mean, wow. Like Owen oh, Wilson. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> He's crazier than a roll lizard. <laughs> He's crazier than a roll lizard. <laughs> you do a good one. You do, <laughs> you do a good one. That's good. Right, cut in. How many more? He's are these three crazy two. than a roll lizard. <laughs> Crazy than a roll. <laughs> <laughs> He's crazy than a roll. I just imagine every time he shoots a scene, they're like, "Yeah, that was good, but can you just?" We couldn't fucking hear what you were saying. <laughs> wow, <laughs> crazy. I bet. I I bet his contract is like. I have to say wow at least three times in the yeah. movie. Uh, I have to say. I, and he, he says like, it even in like okay. serious films. I've, I've <laughs> got. I got a good impression, but it's your guy. It's like what's that? What's that film he's in where there's that dog dies? Molly and me. Yeah, it's like in Molly and me, like the dog's dying. It's like, oh. it's, like he, it's like getting put down. And he's like, oh, you're, you're braver than a rule. This. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> the, the, the lethal injection. I don't like, really get wow. that. Though. Right, it's no. your go. Come on. How many more are we doing? <laughs> I'll tell you that I just want to stop. Right, go on. I think people will like this. I bet you better be guessing at home as well. <laughs> I'll tell you what you're going to do now. <laughs> you're now going to bend me over, but don't let me do this. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Why deny yourself Oh, I've got a couple. Pleasure. I've got a couple more. Actually, I can do that. That was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, that was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right, okay. I'm standing on the set of the Three Skins podcast. Here we have the, wa- yep. <laughs> the wild See, I can crack. see why you want to get into acting. That's a good. That's a good one. Because you're quite good. I know I can do a better one than that. But it's, yeah. Do you know if you never get it, you could probably do voice acting. You need to. You I know, I do voices. You need to focus on villains. Villains. No, no. no but you got a good actor. villain face. I got a good villain impression right now. If here's, you wanna... here's something that they do. Apparently, they get because it's that they, that guy you look like. He's always villain. They get good impersonators sometimes. To um, what what? There's a movie. Uh, <clears throat> Tom Hanks. When yeah. he when they need to record something else with they his voice, his they brother. ask his brother. So you could do impressions of people. Like I'm down. As... Right, your turn. Uh, I I've run out of things, but I need to think of a celebrity that I can do. Um... Do you want me to do one while you, and then you can have two goes if you. Just do just do one you think you can't do, and then just do just it. yeah, just do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just do I need to think of like think. a famous person. I can't even think of a famous. But person. think of every, that's why I got David Attenborough because it's not just from films. Do TV shows. Do right. um, personalities. Just someone with a wacky voice. All right. That's Carl Pilkington. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> let me see. I just got to figure out what I got to say for this one. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Someone from. Uh, is that it? Yeah. Is he, he got it? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me. <laughs> right. Let me. I got just got to figure out what I'm gonna say for this. <laughs> I might do an impression of this guy from the basis of another person's impression of him, but it was quite good. Hang on, right. Hey boy, you look mighty cute in them jeans. Hey boy, I pity the fool 
Uh, wow, the, uh, the, uh, the gold man. Snickers, get some nuts! He's like half, he's like half black, half gold. <laughs> I'll give him that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him that. Mr. T. Dude, yeah. have you seen him arguing with Beetlejuice and Howard Stern? <laughs> yeah. How do you spell BMW? I don't know. BMW. This guy for real? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what color is an orange? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, okay. it's green. I've got, I got this <laughs> impersonation right down. Go on. Wait. Are you doing it? Or... <laughs> oh, you're Rod Stewart. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you were going to shit out on Mr. Hanky, and then there is that was what you Hanky told him to do? <laughs> no, I said you told him for South Park. Well, but, um, that's what I thought you meant because, like, because, be- like, I know we've joked about that before. Be careful of them direwolves; they'll rip your anus apart in mere seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking right! I, I can't think of it. All right, I got another one for you to do. What? Get, put your fingers in your ears. Uh, mm. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Right, I need to think of somebody else that I can do. Hang on, hang on, um, hang on. You want another beer, Greg? Yeah, man, shoot me a beer. <clears throat> this is the latest podcast we've ever done, so we're right having a couple of drinks. What is when it? I was a boy, I used to say to my dad, "Dad, I am Sir. You you must call me Sir." And my dad would call me Sir, because I am I am Sir. Sir, what? <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen to me, Michael Caine. Yeah, <laughs> I'm know. Sir Michael Caine. I remember a shot on a turtle, dude. I saw a tweet the other day. It was like <sighs> this parody. I've seen that. That yeah, made I laugh for like great. half an hour. It was the funniest thing right. ever. This is the last one. Okay. What, like the last round, or no, this, this is Greg's this, last go? This is the last go. <laughs> Donald Duck. Mm. <laughs> How much phlegm do you have? So much, man. It's the sun size. Flubber. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm trying to think of a quote to say. Well, I probably shouldn't say a quote, but like. Well, you got them. I was going to get near with him. I can't do it. <laughs> I've got no go idea. Keep going. Oh, no. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, dear. Well, you got in the end, like, like this monster, he come down and he see like, oh, well, give me two fifty. I said, what is it, two fifty? Your, your <laughs> chef's mum and dad. <laughs> I can't do the voice unless I'm doing the quotes, you know what I mean? She gave so, him a dollar. <laughs> I gave him a dollar. I said, I thought th- 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 he'd go away if I gave him a dollar. I'm going to give 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 him a dollar. I know for a time we met the Loch Ness monster. So, guys, how many of those did you get? Whilst yeah. you were playing along, yeah. and uh, if you say all, you're lying. Yeah, you was a liar. Then again, me and Greg got them all, so I wouldn't. No, but you guys know each other. True. You know what it's each fair other enough. would do. I gotta say, your best one, I think, your best one was Robert De Niro, because he said <laughs> the voice wasn't that good, but even I thought the voice was good. You talking to me? Is that you? Guys... You talking to me? That's good. <laughs> That's good. You talking to me? That's Robert De Niro. It's, it's Robert. Robert De Niro's in the room. My, my cat peach. In your <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Are we ending this on a um a Goonie tune? Yes. Uh, <laughs> so let's go into the Goonie tunes intro. <laughs> Let's smash graves. Oh God. We have to. I don't know if I'm in the freestyling mood. Last week oh. slash. Last fortnight. Yes. What was the answer, Greg? It was actually a uh, Legend of Zelda song. It's uh, great, the Great Fairy Fountain theme mm. from Legend of Zelda. I don't think anyone cared enough. Someone did get it. To... Someone got it. Oh, okay. I saw people write Zelda. Saw somebody. Shout did. out to you guys. If you got that, you're a hero. And now, Greg, have you learnt a song to play? Uh, I, I, I like half learned it, so I'm gonna fuck up loads. I, That's fine. I fuck up loads even if I know it's it. Great, we, he look, probably won't know what it is, but we I made love we this made song. the rule that it's got to be the first take because that makes it harder for you it guys does. at home. So we won't look at you <clears throat> if you know what Greg is about to play right now as he plays it. Write in the comments if you think you know it when you're ready. When you're ready, Gerg.
What is that song, everybody? <laughs> oh, I put it off. Sorry. If you yeah, know what it was, you, you, I, I mean, I totally wouldn't have fucked up if you didn't interrupt. But... <laughs> you probably wouldn't have. That was no, my I probably fault. would have. <clears throat> okay, right. If you know what that was, write it down below. I think I know, but I, well, I thought I knew at the start, but then the more it carried on, it was different. I'll tell you after the podcast. Was. Yeah, no. Right. Okay. Now, as usual, we're gonna do. A little freestyle. This is where I have to sort of remember back to what the fuck we've actually talked about. Loads of dumb shit, animal stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> what are we talking about? You can have a little go first if you want. Uh, I've. Uh, it, can, let me think of like four bars in my head first. Four, four bar. Yeah. All right. Just, just play something, Greg, and I'll just make some up. Here we go. Here we go. Right. This is actually an intro to an actual song, so you <clears> might. <throat> so you have to. Not sing along to it, but just just go. Uh. Uh. Robot wars in a graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> Snow plow on the front of my car. Yeah. Mash up all that dust Bits of rubble and bits of rust, yeah Breathe it in, breathe in the grave dust Yeah (laughs) (laughs) Here we go Yeah Matt's cat was fat Correct me there It was Greg's cat that was fat Yeah His name was Tommy Always sucking On his titties Yeah Squiggy squid (laughs) Oh it was Darwin Sorry Darwin sucking on his titties Sucking on my titties Like you wanted me Calling me yeah Darwin sucking on his titties Just the itty bitty Sucking on his titties, yeah (laughs) 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 I haven't got anything Um, I'm just just sort of making it up as I go Go on, you do your two bars Go on, Greg I don't know what you're going to give me, Greg Go on, Greg What what, what kind of chords do you want? Four chord stuff, four chord stuff Because that fits with everything Let's think about Go on, Matt. I can't do this. Ah, oh. it's all right, all right, all right. Yeah, go on, go on. Right, right, right. Jump in. No, no, you go first. I can't. I got. All right, and okay. Set me up for something. Okay. Uh, what the fuck else did we talk about in this podcast? I can't remember. We spout so much bollocks. We talked about spiders. And tribes that kill priests To be honest I'm not a tribesman But I'd like to um, Make a priest deceased Yeah Yeah A crocodile Left his leg (laughs) To go up a tree and eat a snake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me and Greg went to Egypt. It was shit. <laughs> In the small hut, we found a snake. <laughs> Greg likes to sniff graves. And Lewis looks like the rapist of prison brave. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 that was great. That's, that's my little Egypt solo. 
<laughs> keep keep that gun. Keep that gun. Oh, keep that gun. Fucking hell. <laughs> Welcome to my little hot zoo. Welcome to my little hot zoo. We've got a chicken. It does a lot of poo. Yes. You can smell the poo from a mile away. Don't go near that snake's basket. He'll have your face away. Ah! <laughs> oh, snake charmer, snake charmer, you touch, you pay. You touch, you pay. Take the snake away. Yes. Ah! Oh. oh. Wonderful. I hope you enjoyed that podcast. <laughs> that was fucking weird. <laughs> that was fun. really hit odd. The, hit the like button if you're still here. And if you can, you know, keep going for another c- couple of minutes, seconds, whatever, click the box. There'll be a box that comes up on the playlist. And watch whatever one you are enticed We haven't done that for a watch. while, have we? We need to go for back through and do more. You've been listening to Matt Lewis and Greg. If you didn't like our podcast, suck a fucking egg, yeah. If you don't like the podcast, suck my dick. Leave a tip. (laughs) (laughs) Tip jar in the link below. See you later, guys. You're just going to go into the outro song. Yeah, do it. We love you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you to all the donators. Thank you to all the donators in the future. Thank you to everyone who likes. Thank you to everyone who comments and follows yeah. us on our Instagram. Fuck yeah. Everything is down below. Go, go. Look at all that shit. Tighty bye. <laughs>